Hey, hi to the vlog, everyone. <laughs> You're all in the vlog. <laughs> so it is a Ferrari hoodie. We're definitely going to be bringing up the color a little bit. But I really miss just thrifting for the sake of thrifting. This is Haley's <laughs> corner. <laughs> What's up? Welcome back to another vlog. Today I'm actually taking you guys with me to a hair appointment because I have not gotten my hair done in so long. We're definitely going to be bringing up the color a little bit and I want more of a trim. I found an inspo photo that I'm obsessed with. This is it. I don't know if you guys can see but I love the way that the hair color blends kind of at the top and then it gets lighter at the bottom and the tones are so nice and warm with like a nice chocolatey brown roots. Also, needed to update you on this. Do you guys remember I was having a lot of hair loss postpartum? Everything started growing back and this hair grow back is so funny. Look at this hair growth back i mean at least my hair is growing back but i have baby bangs like what is this this is something that nobody told me about but it's definitely been a journey but either way let's head on in so i'm gonna do a little bit of tz lights up here okay just to give you that like when it falls you have that Soft, yeah, like, like, but the inside main is still gonna be dark. You're still gonna be dark because yeah. look how solid you are right now, right? So, if I put too much, you're yeah. gonna end up looking really solid, right? So, I just want to add pieces at the top mm -hmm. on the side and then literally underneath here. Uh -huh. But I'm gonna grab really thick sections and only focus on the bottom so that it gives you that nice mouth mm -hmm. and then like a nice soft front piece, dude. You, you're my hair fairy, you always know what to do, Let's so do it. just, so just work your magic. Okay, got it. Time to wash up. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I got light. By the way, you guys, I've been with Val for so many years. And look at her news. Look at her. She's pretty. And her baby is due on February 27th, which is literally Aaliyah's birthday. That's crazy. Our babies are twins. Our babies They're are twins. twins. The hair color is stunning. I do feel like the pieces in the front are like slightly um, too blonde, so she's just gonna go and like fuse those out, make them a little bit darker. And then that way, I feel like I'm gonna look a bit more like a brunette. Cause yeah, right now these pieces, they just lifted so light, which is like a great thing. We just need to diffuse it a little bit. Oh, you guys, it is so cold outside, but I'm finally done with the hair a couple hours later and I'm in love with the color. But that's kind of like my last appointment of the week. That's just for myself. And now we gotta get into packing mode. We have a couple days left before our move. Look, definition. Woke up today, there was so much snow outside. But basically today is Sunday. It is the last Sunday before we leave and next Sunday is our flight out to Florida We're so excited and obviously we've been spending the majority of time packing and like getting everything together That being said today is actually gonna be kind of like my farewell last hangout with my girlfriends So Sarah's partnering up with the app whatnot, which is basically like an online reselling app So today she was able to get together a bunch of different influencers and we're gonna be going over to her house and going live and selling our clothes It should be super fun very on brand of our friendship in the sense that we always love doing things that are thrift related so I don't know if you guys can tell but I literally have a huge laundry basket right behind me of a bunch of stuff I'm gonna be giving maybe even later on if I have some time I'm gonna do a thrift trip hey hi to the vlog everyone <laughs> you're all in the vlog you can't see me is it getting ah! Ah! <laughs> okay they yeah, just dropped me it's great to try stuff on. let's try things oh, that's awesome. so cute that's a good fit oh I love it. so it is a Ferrari hoodie it's an XXL what would so, I do without you guys? This is Haley's <laughs> corner. <laughs> it says medium large, but I don't know. My head looks. You have too. a small head. You have yeah, a small head. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that would not fit my head. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah see, like. Oh, it still fits. Oh, oh, cute. it looks so cute on you, Sarah. Congrats, Mia! Woo! Enjoy your pants. 
Oh, you guys, what a hectic two days. Fast forward two days from the sale. The sale was like super fun. And since then, we've just been ransacking to get the house empty and clean. But with all the hustle and bustle of the last few days, Eren told me, Haley, go take some time for yourself. Go do what you love. So obviously, I wanted to go ahead and go thrifting. And he actually made a point. He said, lately, every single time I've been going thrifting, I'm always like thrifting content. So I'm like thrifting video ideas and I'm thrifting specific like dupes and stuff like that. And it just reminded me that I really miss just thrifting for the sake of thrifting. So I'm actually gonna take you guys to one of my favorite Valley Village locations. I think it's the one where I filmed my first thrift video ever. So I'm really just gonna look for the things that I like, not specific trends or styles, but I'll take you guys along with me and just show you what we find. Okay, this is super funny. I actually donated a bunch of clothes already that I didn't think would sell or whatever. And I actually already see it right there. They're repricing it at like $5.49. Kind of expensive. Actually really expensive for a t-shirt like this because it's kind of faded here too. But I thought this could also be like a little scavenger hunt. Let's see if I can already find things that I donated yesterday. Okay, cardigan sweaters, don't need that. More sweaters, more sweaters. Guys, there's so many sweaters. I can't even fit any of these in my luggage. Okay, blouses, I think here we can find some stuff. I found another pair of jeans that I ended up donating. My Bratz pants, $10. It's so funny to me how small the short sleeve section is. Trying to find a place to sit you guys down. A little bit of a challenge, but I do want to show you the few things I found that I really did like. I found this one in the men's section. It's just a men's vest, but it's plaid. I thought this could be really cute with like a white turtleneck underneath. And honestly, layers like vests are kind of the only way you can really do layers in Florida because obviously it's so hot. I did find this sweater that I'm like obsessed with. I really like the stripes and the green too. It's really soft. It does say it's an extra large, so I have a feeling that somebody shrunk it, but I still really love it. This one just feels very Phoebe Buffet to me. I really like the stripes and the colors as well for fall and winter right now. I think it's perfect and it is a sweater but like in a t-shirt version and then there were three button-ups i found that i really liked this first one kind of sheer and like lightweight kind of looks cheapish and whatever on camera but if you iron this one the material is actually really nice then i found this one just in a nice burnt orange color i'm just gonna try it on we're, we're just gonna we're just gonna see what it looks like and then this last one is like a nice silky material and it's just black and white stripes a nice classic basic to throw on and obviously i'm not gonna take this because clearly it's too big but i do want to try it on because it looks like it would be such a nice fitting leather jacket so I have the vest on and I do really, really love the colors and I like the fit paired over like a really thin t-shirt or a turtleneck with really baggy bottoms. It would just kind of like go straight down. It would look cute. Mm -mm. I feel like it makes me look big. <laughs> this one, I really like the fit of it. Oh my God. This is such a nice fitting leather jacket. Why is it that I just found my perfect leather jacket before I'm leaving? I like it so much, but if I buy it, Evan will kill me. <laughs> Full blown holiday music. I don't even know if you guys can hear me, but this is something I'm gonna miss so bad. All the jackets and the leather jackets are so beautiful. Yeah, the price is not cute, but look at this Danier leather, so stunning, and I love the contrast stitch. Red leather jackets have been having such a moment too. This one's so beautiful. Chocolate brown, always a favorite. Oh, so many good ones, you guys. <gasps> look at that. Well, it looks like this is it. I guess this is my official goodbye. Well, not officially, guys. I'm gonna be coming back here all the time and I'm gonna thrift here all the time. I already know. I'm probably gonna take a huge luggage every single time I come back just for some extra thrift space. And again, because I'm just thrifting for the sake of thrifting, I'm really only picking up what I need. I ended up getting the striped shirt because I feel like it's just such a nice, easy, basic layering piece. And then this like men's vest also. I think I can make some really cute looks with it. So definitely stay tuned. Egan, you wanna maybe quickly show them like what the house is looking like right now? It is not pretty, I will say. So this is the state of the house right now. This is actually not at, at its worst. I mean, it looks bad, but all the drawers in the kitchen and everything is all closed. So if you really think about it that way, it's not that bad, but we just gotta start finding a place for everything. And we have until tomorrow. I was telling Evelyn earlier today that I was feeling a lot of mom guilt in so many different ways because a lot of the things around the house are things that are my responsibility in the sense that like, I know where things are going. I know 
if I want them packed, if I want to take them or not. So as much as Eran can help, he needs me to kind of like guide him in terms of what we need to take and what we don't. So I've been leaving Aliyah in the playpen a lot to play by herself. That just makes me feel like I'm not giving her that quality time. In terms of food, I'm like struggling to figure out what to give her to eat because we gave away like so many of our pots and our pans and our fridge is kind of empty. So like it was also hard to kind of feed her properly. But I guess all that comes down to is just like not being so hard on myself. And Egan told me that it's part of being a mom. There's always going to be times where it's gonna feel like you're not doing everything to your 100% but honestly you could tell by Aaliyah she's clearly a happy baby like she still feels loved which is all that matters I feel like I just need to stop being so hard on myself and telling myself that I'm not doing enough because I'm actually doing a lot and I really need to pat myself on the back more often because it's not easy you know as much as people say working from home is an amazing thing it's not like you ever have like a 9 to 5 and then you don't think about work until the next day I'm constantly thinking about YouTube I'm constantly thinking about content constantly thinking about when I need to like make the next video and film and when you have certain life changes like this that require a hundred percent of your time and effort it can definitely be a challenge so trying to navigate it and i love that you guys have been so considerate and like dming me and commenting such nice things so thank you so much for that and i thought i would just give you guys a little update on all this hecticness so as you guys can tell we're a little bit under stress but i think that if we're able to like move into a new house well, while you were like almost due pregnant, yeah. not even that you were a baby you were due in that week i think we can match it it's just obviously a little bit stressful balancing everything out but we'll get through it mm -hmm. god willing but look this smells all worth it yeah. <laughs> 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 Alright you guys, I think I'm gonna end the vlog here I hope you guys enjoyed it I know it was like such a mishmash of so many different things But that was honestly what was going on the last couple of days I know these videos have been very vloggy But I've really been enjoying filming them like this And I know a lot of you guys have as well But just to share a little bit of my thoughts Our official moving vlog is gonna be next week And I'm so excited for it I'm really nervous too It's been such an emotional roller coaster, And it's such a bittersweet thing Because I'm so sad that I'm gonna be like leaving my family And like leaving my friends And like leaving the comfort of like where I grew up in a way but on the other hand i'm really excited to see what florida is gonna bring for us i have a very good feeling like this is something that we just need to do and yeah i'm really excited to take you guys along with me obviously if you're here for the thrifting content you're still gonna see a ton of that in florida if anything i think it's gonna be more exciting for me to discover new thrift stores find which ones are gonna be like my new favorites and obviously i'll take you guys along for that so thank you guys so much for watching again be sure to subscribe down below if you haven't already to join the hey family i love you all forever and always and i can't wait to see you in my next one bye